Welcome to Academic Reports in English. In this lesson, I will introduce the course and give an overview of the different topics that we cover. This includes a brief description of what academic writing is and what kind of students will benefit from this course. Academic reports vary widely from field to field in English. However, whatever the subject matter, you, they have clear systems of organisation, they use formal language and vocabulary associated with the academic field, and they use references or sources. There are different patterns and ways to present your reports, but within each field there are commonly accepted styles and conventions that novice, beginners and experienced writers need to follow. At school or university, students may be asked to write a, a so-called five paragraph essay of say 500 words. Or you may have to write a longer thesis which might be two or three thousand words. At the master's level and the PhD level, these reports are much longer, maybe 20,000 words or even 50,000 words. But the principles of writing are still the same, whatever the length of the report. Academic researchers who are writing for publication will also need to follow the same conventions. This course is aimed at anybody who has to write an academic report in English. This includes students at school or university and academic researchers whose first language is not English. We will focus on strategies and tips for writing as well as useful academic language. First of all, we will look at the process of writing, how to start by getting ideas, how to plan your first draft, how to improve, and finally, how to make your report look as accurate and clear as possible. One of the most important points to learn about academic writing is that clear organisation with logical connections between sections is vital. We will learn about basic templates to structure reports and go into detail about two common styles, problem solution and contrast compare. Almost all academic writing requires facts and evidence to support the ideas of the writer. These are called references. There are very specific rules to learn about how to put references into your writing and what information you need to include. We will also give advice about how to avoid copying. This is called plagiarism. Academic writing ranges from being scientific and objective to quite personal and subjective. This feature is called voice and we will show you a number of ways that we can vary our voice to get different effects. Finally, we will look at how to format your writing to make it look as easy and clear to read as possible. This involves using white space in a way to make your report look beautiful, choosing font sizes and styles and using basic text effects. In this first lesson, we've given an overview of what is included in our course on academic writing. Academic writing in English is challenging, but we are confident that if you follow the advice in this course and you practice what you learn, you will soon improve. Let's get to it.